All right, so today I'm going to be tying the backstabber carp fly on a Daiichi 1760 size 6 hook. I am going to start by making a wrap with my thread that we're going to secure the eyes to. And really be sure to give yourself plenty of room in front of these eyes for um, not only capturing the marabou, but for tying in your hackle. So I'm going to secure these nice and tight with a bunch of wraps coming around them. Next, I will get a little super glue going. Make sure everything stays right where we want it. Should put a dab right there. <coughs> Work it around the bottom, get it on all the sides. And those are not going to go anywhere. Come back and make a couple more wraps here. And then we are going to work our thread back to the right about the point of the hook there. I like that. Maybe a bit farther. Now what we're going to do is we are going to grab some hair's ear dubbing and a brown olive. I am just going to start making a dubbing noodle here. And this is how we're going to make the body of the fly, or the back I guess, once we really get into it. I'm going to make this nice and thick. So don't be afraid to really take your time in this step and make sure you create enough taper that you'll actually be able to see this part of the fly and it just doesn't just disappear under the marabou. So next, we are gonna grab some more ice stub here and continue making our dubbing noodle. And I'm going to try and slowly build that taper up and make the body larger as it comes toward the eye or the eyes that we've tied on. So, do this one more time. Now we're getting there. Okay, now I'm going to take some more of this ice dub and I'm going to make a really thin dubby noodle to cover the eyes here and cover up some of the work we did there. Perfect. And now, once we have that secure in front, I'm just going to take a brush and kind of brush all this out, make it look a little buggier. And then brush it back a bit. <clears throat> and that looks good. I like that there. Next, we are going to take our marabou, our woolly bugger marabou feathers in the light olive here. It's kind of got a mossy look to it. I'm going to lay these right on the belly of the fly here. Pull them back. And that looks about right there. I don't want it to be too long, maybe just a bit longer than the than the shank of the hook here sticking out just a bit. I like that right there. Pinch that with my left hand and make some gentle wraps in front of the eyes with my right. Make sure we have it nice and centered on there. And that looks good. Then I'll come back in here with my scissors and trim that out as close as we can. And I'll keep brushing that out until it's the way that I want it. And then I'll secure it right there. 
work my way back to the ice. That looks good there. And next we are going to take our hackle. I'm going to tie this in from the tip right on top here. Wrap it all the way back to the eye as close as I can get it without catching any other fibers here. And I'll grab my hackle plier and we'll twist it up. Spread these feathers out a bit. Start twisting it and I'm going to brush it back as I do. And then I will secure it right behind the eye of the hook here. And nip it off. And then I will go ahead and grab as much of those hackle feathers as I can and wrap them back just a bit, just so we know we're really secure in there. And I'll brush it all back. Make sure we don't have any trapped fibers anywhere. And whip finish. And then as is a recurring theme in a lot of my carp flies, we're gonna put a hot head on this one. On a lot of my darker flies, blacks, browns, olives, I'll put this little hot head on just to give contrast in muddy water. Um, I found that to be extremely effective when fishing for carp. And then we'll get our whip finisher again. Come through. Just like that, we have the backstabber. Brush it all out, make sure it looks good. 